But yeah, real productive day. Got a lot done. Uh, knocked the back window out on it. You know, just normal stuff. Sorry, rascal. We need my darn track hole back. I'm... Monday, I'm... Monday, we facing call them rascals, huh? finally putting old pokey back together here my guy finally got her swing motor back it's been at the repair shop for over over a month but maybe he got that thing finally fixed uh, you know we've been i replaced that seal twice but the way he talked it would never hold because we had some stuff wrong up in here uh Said he rebuilt the brake pistons in it, replaced some seals on this upper end, rebuilt this hay. And so maybe this thing is ready to go now, hopefully. He's got her all sealed up. We're gonna get up here, bolt her in. I'm not gonna waste my time showing y'all that process because you've seen it two times already. So, uh, we'll bring you back when we get this sucker running in the field. It's been sitting here about six months now. <laughs> so, we're going to get her operational, take her to the field, and see what happens. is the top of these old hills because it, it gets way too steep on the sides and you can see I mean it's just I guess you'd call it a ravine but yeah it's 
I mean, it originally just started out as a little old ditch and it turned to this, you know. Uh, what we done here was this has been here holding really well. Uh, somebody years ago had put a bunch of stuff in it uh, and it was holding it fine but it got to, it just got the washing so we filled her full of trees here we got them root balls I tried to put them root balls up here toward where the water would be coming off so hopefully them trees are gonna be slowing that water down as it comes off as hell and kind of you can make it i have seen that you fill a hole up like that and it slows that water down and uh kind of just heals itself back up seen it lots of times uh you can see them couple of trees there that was a woods lot and that's where all them trees come from was that woods lot there's a whole woods <laughs> in that hole down there at the down there at the deepest part you could probably stack three of them dozers in it Opened up on this side too. 
this old big cow farm. some hydraulic oil in my excavator we filled it up last night we drained the tank so now I'm filling the dozer I climb up there and check the hydraulic oil we got some wind noise I apologize guys wind's blowing pretty hard today Robert's out here great See where that tires comes around that hill? There was a big giant drop off and laid out into a big hole. Uh, we cleared that off, put all them trees down in there and buried them. Now Robert is grading that off and you see how these roads ran that way? Well now, hopefully they're gonna run this way along that fence road there. Where's the working on cleaning the side of that hill off. Uh, we're cleaning the side of that hill off. We intend on working that. There's a big gully here. We don't really know what we're gonna do with it yet. Uh, I might start pushing them trees and stuff in it and then start pushing dirt over them trees. Before you get on my butt, yes, I know I'm missing some bucket tape. I ordered a set of bucket tape. They got lost in the mail somewhere, so I'm waiting on a set of bucket tape to come in for. We're not doing a lot of digging. We're mostly just grabbing trees and placing them. So, we asked we got to get some bucket tape on it. I know. So, before you start crawling my butt about that, yes. We got a bucket teeth on the way for it. Grease the tracks, got them tension to back up. As you can tell, don't have any swag in them. They were creaking and popping pretty good last night. I honestly do not know what in the world they was trying to accomplish over here. I, there, those terraces. Just the way they laid these terraces out, I mean, they literally have water come around here and just dump off the side of this hill. And it has no choice. I honestly don't know what they're trying to accomplish. I don't know if it come around there and originally drained out a pipe. 
because there was no pipe in it. There was actually a hole blowed out right there. But, uh, but minimum till and no till. We're hoping we can change the size, the direction these roads run. And I hold this old farm in place and not have any need for a pipe. If we do need a pipe, we'll come put it in where we need it. <laughs> but but we can't tell nothing about that until we kind of get the shape and see and learn where the water is running. We we'll get one more shot of him and then I gotta get started, guys. This is my last full day with the dogs. We need to quit about 3 o'clock tomorrow so I'm able to get it loaded up, cleaned up, take it back to the house. Both the rain Saturday morning. Pack all this in here and get it firmed up. Just make it a lot better situation. Well, guys, I may regret this, but I am going to try to push all these dead trees over there in that big giant hole. And maybe Burger Cross. Like I said, I may regret it. May turn into a lot of work. But we're going to give it a try. And we're going to reshape the side of this hill and try to plant it. The thing I hate about pushing stuff like this is always tries to roll out from under. But I need some fill material for this hole instead of driving a bunch of dirt because I don't want to move a whole hill. So we're going to try to use this wood, old wood, I don't know. I guess they cleaned off that hillside and just track stacking trees on that hill.
gonna be a little more challenging. We got a tree, actually got some trees in this patch. Others way just more or less uh, like to push him. Well, it ain't gonna. Alright, we got it pushed over now. Let's see if we get under the root ball and roll it over. Bob's going to get us some lunch. Uh, I got some bigger trees in here. I guess I'm going to get on the hole and uh, tote them in there. Hell, I might. might. I think I'm going to walk them up there and put them in there. It's about as close to do that as it is uh, try to tote them all the way down there. 